Hi, my name is Mike Head and welcome to Atlas Ceramics. Uh, we're here today to talk about some common questions that we get asked and one of them is how do I seal terracotta? Um, as you can see from this board here, if you remember on the previous videos we actually had stripped it right back using the wax off and the waxer to clean it. Okay, so now it's completely dry. Um, what we're going to do now is get on and seal it. To seal it, we're going to use the impregnator, which actually creates the barrier um, to stop any um, uh, stains or stuff like that, or help reduce that from staining. And then we're going to use the sealant over the top. And this is going to leave you a modern look, which is like a honeycomb sort of uh, golden sort of look on that. You're going to need a couple of sponges, one to apply it and then one to take it off. Okay, so first of all, um, what I do with the little thin impregnator is to, uh, of course, open it and then pour it onto the surface. Okay, and then what we're going to do is then going to put that over the surface to allow it to soak in. Now, with terracotta, it's a clay-based uh, material, um, so it's very porous. So you would get somewhere around sort of five meters, but it could vary, it could be less than that, it could be more than that. So that's why it's important to do a test area out of the way if you can't see it to make sure you're happy with the look. If you have any questions with the look, then please don't hesitate to give us a call. All right, so that's the sort of usage of it. So we're gonna start off with this. This sort of area which we strip back isn't gonna take so much of it, um, but of course it's gonna give you a good idea. All right, so we'll pull that on. Not too much. Just to make sure that it's got plenty to go into the tile itself. It's gonna need a bit more than that. So again, we're gonna do an area to test it to make sure we're happy with it and you want to keep this wet or damp or wet with it so that it can soak in for at least sort of five minutes you can see how um, that's actually started to soak it in because the tile has gone real dark real quick now if this was a new build and a new floor and it was ungrouted you would do it exa exactly the same as what I've done here now you would seal individual tiles without it, without it being grouted. You'd leave that for 24 hours to dry, and then you would point and grout the tile at that stage, okay? Most important part of it then is because you would need to let it dry as long as possible until such time as all the moisture has come out of the actual grout and out of the tile before you start. Then you would then do your second process, which is what I'm doing here now, and allowing another 24 hours before you put the sealant or whichever finish you want on that. So as I said to you at the beginning, it's gonna take about five minutes for it to actually um, sort of soak in properly, make sure I'm happy. So I'm gonna keep adding, um, keep on top of it, make sure it doesn't dry out on the surface uh, for the next sort of five minutes. So I'll come back to you then once it's done. So until then, see you in a minute. Okay, so welcome back. We've had five minutes of allowing this to soak in. We've kept it damp. Um, by just wringing out your sponge and then of course uh, some of the uh, impregnator then comes out onto the tile. Okay, so as you can see it's come up real nice that has um, and what we're going to do now is take off the excess. So the most important thing is taking off the excess because if you don't take off the excess some parts it will soak in more others it won't and it could sort of spoil the effect of the tile. But most importantly is get yourself a nice dry sponge and really just wipe that off all the excess to make sure that there's nothing else sat on the tile and it's just no ripples or anything like that. There you go, that's real satisfying that is, look at that, it's come up real nice. Lovely, okay so what we're going to do now is allow that for 24 hours to dry um, and then what we're going to do then is then go on and then apply the sealant which is what I explained earlier, is going to give you that modern look. Okay, so if there's any questions with regards to this, please don't hesitate to contact us, but otherwise we'll be back in a minute, well not in a minute, in 24 hours to actually put the ceiling on. Till then, thank you for listening. Bye. Hi, welcome back um, to the terracotta ceiling of the floor. Um, in the earlier stage we used the impregnator, um, which we put a coat on this uh, reconditioned board, and as mentioned in the previous one, if it was a new build or new floor, then you put a couple, at least a couple of coats on it. So it's all dried and all ready for now for its sealant, okay? And uh, the sealant's gonna give it sort of like its shine, its sort of depth of color in it, okay? So 
quite easy to apply, very easy, and you'll find out with a lot of the lithium products that as long as you follow the instructions on the back, um, they are very easy to use, um, which is hopefully what I'm trying to demonstrate here in our videos. Okay, so open up the seam, I'm going to pour a bit on, and then we're going to slowly then make sure that we get a nice even film over the top of the, all of the tiles, okay? Again, you can do this on uh, starting from the back of the room to the front. I'll just put a little bit more on, okay? Working your way out, so you can then do that in one go. Got about enough. What you want to make sure when you're looking at your tile as you go through is not to leave any white liquid, okay? If you see when I pulled it out, it was coming out like a creamy liquid. If you see that over the tile and you've got too much, turn over the sponge, wipe it off so that you don't have any of that white liquid thing. It should just be an even cover like that. Okay, so this is gonna take about an hour uh, to actually dry. Um, you really wanna be putting on sort of two to three coats, so you could seal your whole floor in a whole day. As I said, starting from the back and working your way out and then coming back through again. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to carry on with that in an hour's time. I'm gonna put another thin coat on it and then again and then finally I'll come back and show you the finished article. Okay, so that's, um, that's putting the sealant on. What we have here is a product from Lithothin, which is the Easy Care. Now this is how you maintain it. So once you've been happy with the finish and you've got a beautiful floor, then you use the Easy Care to actually help clear it. Just a little splash into your bucket as you mop through. As it's giving you a lovely gloss and a lovely shiny floor, as time goes on, depending upon the usage of your um, household, if you've got a lot of family, if you've got animals and stuff, you start to sit, start to fade down. If it does, then just top it up with some neat sealant. But first of all, make sure you clean it so it's all clean and dry. Most important that it's dry, and then go over with it with another top up over that. In busy households, you could be doing twice a year or something like that. A very quiet household, not too much use in the floor, would be perhaps once a year. So it's nice and easy to do. You could see how quickly that took me just to do that. A couple of coats on and then I'll be done. And it'll have your lovely, beautiful terracotta. Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna carry on with that. I'll come back to you with how it's finished. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us um, or give us a call. I'll be happy to help you. Till the next time, thank you for listening.